Hey, it's Matt at Roughhouse Studios, and welcome to Canna Basics. Today, we look at several ways to smoke shatter, dabs, and wax. Today, we're going to look at several ways to smoke shatter, wax, and rosin, along with the pros and cons of dab rigs and nails, dab pens, vaporizers, e-nails, and nectar collectors. You can find all these products and more at the wizardpuff.com online head shop, and you can save money with the code ROUGHHOUSE. I'd like to thank Wizard Puff for sponsoring this video. Perhaps the OG of ways to do dabs is the trusty dab or oil rig fitted with the titanium nail or quartz banger and is truly one of the most effective ways to do a dab. You'll get a huge hit instantly and usually get the most out of your wax too as it's fully vaporized in seconds. Dab rigs might be one of the most effective ways of doing dabs, but there are drawbacks, such as needing a torch and gas to heat the nails and also a recovery time to reheat the nail for the next dab. Also, when you introduce open flame and exposed high heat into the process, you also sacrifice safety to some degree. Dab pins, on the other hand, are probably one of the safest ways to do dabs. These types of pins usually use quartz, ceramic, or metal coils to heat the wax enclosed inside of a sealed glass or metal cap. These types of pins can be effective and give big hits, but usually will take several puffs to smoke the same amount of wax as doing a single dab off of a nail. Another common drawback to wax pens is that the unvaped wax builds up and they require constant cleaning to keep functioning properly. Some vaporizers that are made for dry herb can also be used to vaporize wax too. These devices usually provide a cup or pod that inserts into the dry herb heating chamber to vaporize the wax. These types of devices can be very convenient, but the cons are that they often do a mediocre job of vaporizing wax as they lack the heat that's required. And the small pods can be cumbersome and leaky, so it can be hard to keep the heating chamber clean for dry herb. Nectar collectors or vacuum systems could be considered the dark horse of dab methods. These types of devices use a heated tip on the end of a handheld device that you dip directly into the wax. There are both electric collectors as well as those requiring external heat sources, such as a torch. One big advantage of the collector type rig is that you can get huge hits when you're dipping the tip directly into the wax but they can have a bit of a learning curve and a little bit awkward to use. Perhaps the biggest favorite among dabbers is the e-nail. E-nails are very similar to the standard titanium nail on an oil rig with one key difference. The e-nails have an electronic control center to set a precise temperature and a heating element that will keep the nail continuously heated and ready for a dab. The pros of e-nails are that it's ready for a dab anytime that it's on and you can set the precise temperatures and also you can do back-to-back -back dabs without having to reheat the nail. They may also arguably be safer than using open flames and are clearly more convenient than needing a secondary heating torch. Cons are that they usually require a power source to operate so it may not be as portable as the other methods. And it's also very convenient to use, so you might find yourself smoking through your wax very quickly and passing out on the couch very early. Whichever method you choose, dabbing wax or rosin, so long as it's free of impurities, is actually healthier than smoking cannabis flowers. By not smoking or vaporizing the plant materials, you are clearly putting less unnecessary chemicals into your body. And by taking concentrated doses, you're required to smoke less frequently. Not to mention that the time it takes to do a dab is far quicker than the time it takes to smoke a joint, bowl, or especially a blunt. But if you're an everyday dabber like myself, a nice e-nail setup would likely be the way to go. But if you only occasionally dab or prefer to vaporize, then a 3-in-1 vape pen that does wax too might be satisfactory. Or an... Or an inexpensive wax pen might be even better, or perfect for the beginner, just looking to dabble in wax, shatters, and rosin concentrates. Again, I'd like to thank the guys at Wizard Puff for sponsoring this video. You can save money on lots of the products that you saw in this video with the code ROUGHHOUSE at wizardpuff.com. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to smoke, shatter, dabs, and wax. If you did, please visit roughhousestudios.com for hundreds of cannabis culture videos made just for you. This is Matt from Roughhouse Studios. Thank you for watching.